I just got finished reading my devotional and I'm just on the porch about to drink my coffee. Today's devotional, so I put y'all on before to my devotional that I read in this um, 100 Days of Believing Bigger and it comes in like sections in the book. So the sections that I'm, the section that I'm reading right now is labeled um, Disruption. So today it was talking about how if you want God to elevate you to a higher purpose, you have to internally be ready for it. And it was saying like, you know, don't be scared and ask God to just pretty much help you along the way. It really hit home this devotional today because yesterday and the day before me and my friend was talking about how, you know, ignorance really is bliss sometimes because it's like you would think that you don't want to go through life being ignorant and not knowing certain things and not opening your mind to certain things but it can be quite frustrating when you open your mind to certain things because it's like once you open your mind to something you can't forget it you know what i'm saying like it's like once you know something you can't forget it like you can't have a blind eye to it you know what i'm saying so it's always going to be eating you up you know like just to give an example like say for instance um this is just an example it's not truth so say for instance they was like all your life you was eating apples because you thought apples was healthy then one day you find out and you got evidence that apples is really not healthy for you it can cause cancer or yada 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 and it's like now that's going to be in your mind even if you continue to eat apple it's going to be in your mind and it's going to kind of eat at you anytime you decide to do that thing i feel like that's really where i'm at in life right now like i'm asking god for more to develop me more to give me more to internally like heal me more and he's been doing that but it's like it goes back to be careful what you ask for because when asking for that I didn't realize how difficult it was going to be I think that people look at it as healing is this such a beautiful thing which it can be but when you're going through it and you're actually trying to heal it's very hard and it's a lot of emotions and it's a lot of just things that come up that you might not have even been aware of and it's not a good feeling so that just really touched on how I'm feeling right now my, my devotional today really touched on that because it's like I really feel like that guy is disrupting my life he really is and I'm like God please stop but don't stop but stop <laughs> anyway um, I'm just gonna sit here and read my um I mean drink my coffee I read my devotional already clearly but this is the book that I've been currently reading is breaking the habits breaking the habit of being yourself how to lose your mind and create a new one by Dr. Joe Dispenza so I told y'all before about the teledipity app that I um that I like and it's based upon like numerology and stuff like that so currently I'm in a personal year five which the number five is change pretty much change um pretty much getting you out of your comfort zone in the beginning of the year it gives you a list of books to read that you should complete in that personal year even if you read the book before because you know have you ever read something and you go back and read it and it's like you're at a different place mentally so it's like you interpret it a whole different way 
So like with being in the personal year five, he give you a list of books that he wants you to read in that year. And um, a lot of the books that he have up there, I actually have. So one of the books was Conversations with God, the, the book one. And I read that book before, but I started reading it again and I actually finished it yesterday. And y'all, I, I, I said it the first time I read it, but even more so now, like I really encourage anybody to read that book. Like it is really a good book. But now, this is the book that I just showed y'all is one of the other books that he wants me to read with a, a, a list of other books. But so I'm gonna read this book. Yeah, y'all. Today we have quite a day. Um, so at 10 o'clock, I have an appointment to go get my eyebrows threaded because I'm going on a little mini vacation to DC. Y'all know I, I've been to DC several times. Honestly, I'm not sure if I'm vlogging or not because I kind of want to enjoy myself. But then it's like, I owe that to y'all. So I don't know, we're gonna see. I'm gonna try, but I don't know. We gonna see. <laughs> but, um, so I have an appointment to go get my eyebrows threaded at 10 o'clock. Um, I really don't have much eyebrows, y'all, but I haven't had them threaded in a while and they really need to like, I like to get them threaded because it helps when I'm trying to shape them when I'm doing my makeup. Then I wanna go get my feet done, y'all. I finally can get my toenails done. So I'm getting my toes done, regular French tip. I'm excited for that because I haven't had my toes done in a while because the last time I went to the podiatrist, she cut my toenail down. So I couldn't get them done. So it finally grew back out. And when I go back to her, because I think I got to go back in May, I'm going to tell her, listen, baby, you're not cutting this toenail. Okay? It took, she cut that toenail in November. It just now grew back. So I'm going to tell her, like, you're not, no, we're not doing that this time. I don't care what you say. I don't care. I'm putting my foot down. We're not cutting that toenail. It's about to be hot outside, warm outside, and we're not doing that. I got to go get that done. And then at 2.30, I have an appointment to get a bikini wax, which I haven't had that in a while either. I did tell her I'm a film, and me and her is pretty cool, so I feel comfortable filming that. I won't film me getting my eyebrows done because... It's just like, I be having to use both hands because she be wanting me to like stretch my eyebrow with this one and then my other hand with this one. So it'd be kind of difficult. And like last time I did ask her to film, she did let me film, but she was just saying, don't get her face in it. So it's just to avoid all that, I'm not filming that. I'm not filming that. So those are the three things that I need to get done today. I do want to kind of, I think I want to kind of wash my leave out because I still have my sewing in y'all, but it's getting taken out this month but not till after this little mini vacation. So I'm pretty sure my day won't just consist of appointments. I'm pretty sure knowing me, I'm gonna find something else to do. Um, all right, y'all, I'm about to just sit here and read and then I'm gonna get myself together and then we're gonna go to our first appointment. Today is a day of pain. Eyebrows threading, bikini wax. are done and she did good y'all see what i'm talking about like well i very much so have eyebrows but they just look so much better lord kids start running they look so much better and they're more they have a shape to them now so i can shape them better but i'm just in the car i'm about to wait until 11 it's like 10 55 for my therapy appointment y'all see why i need a new car y'all see the twins car seat like I tried to sit them side by side, even though her car seat right now is leaning a little bit more than what um, than normal because it's like I just need to push it over. But like my son is able, my my nine year old is able to sit right there, and it, it's really not bad. Like it kind of looked bad right now as far as the her car seat being tilted, but once she's in it and adding weight to it, you can't even tell if she doesn't complain about it. But she's strapped in and safe. But yeah, I'm getting a new car this year. But yeah, I'm about to just do my therapy appointment. And then I'm sitting right in front of the toenail place. Well, it's a nail, it's a nail salon. <laughs> but I only get my toenails there though. Hopefully they ain't taking too long today because y'all, they be in there taking forever. Like that's why I don't even want to get a pedicure because I be telling them like, no, I don't want a pedicure. I just want a toenail change. And they be having me sitting there forever. Like, come on now. Y'all trying to make me get a pedicure. Come on.
all done, and all, all done, darling. I can't even get the words out because I'm so motherfucking hungry. We are done with our toes, y'all. Mm, they are not the best. Okay. I, you know, it's a certain way that I like my French tip. I like my French tip to be curved, not just across. And, but I like that he asked me that I like it. And he had tried to adjust it to my liking. So I gave him a $5 tip. It was already $35 though, which is crazy just for a polish change. Imagine if I actually got my feet done, y'all. But they do really good there. But I don't know. I won't, I don't think I'll be going to him though no more. But he didn't do bad. It don't look bad. And then my toe that was messed up, it's not like fully grown out. So it's kind of look chipped a little bit on one. But when you look at my feet, they still look good, which is the goal. Cause at first, the way they were looking, they were looking like roof, roof. But so I'm so hungry, y'all. I, 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 I honestly feel sick. So I'm about to go get me something to eat. The time is 12.25. I don't have to go get my wax until 2.30. So I have a little bit of time, which I love that. They actually didn't have me waiting forever when I went in there. Maybe because it's not a Friday. But um, this gives me time to go find a dress to get something to eat. Then I can go get my wax. And then once I'm done with that, I can go home. Because that was the goal. What am I going to eat, y'all? I'm about to go to town center area. I was I was going to say I could sit down and eat. But then I'm like, that's more time. Yo, you ever see, and I'm not trying to be funny at all. But it's this lady that I just saw that it's been a while since I worked over here. Like, I work for the same company, but in this area, I haven't worked over here for years. It's probably been about five years. And it's this lady no, it hasn't been no five years. I started working in another position in 2020, so it's been four years. And it's this lady that's been over here that's been homeless, and I just saw her. And like, do you ever see a homeless person? You'd be like, dang, they still homeless? And it's like really sad because it's like, oh my goodness, like, what, what's going on? And I really be wanting to have conversations with them to see like their how their mind is, like their thought process. Um, because you can't enjoy being homeless and walking around asking people for money all the time. But maybe they do. And maybe that's why they still do it. I don't know. But maybe one day I'll have a conversation with them. But I won't stop them because you're not about to talk about how I am. And you know what I'm saying? Sometimes they'll be right in the head sometimes. So it's like they be going all over the place. And I just be sitting there trying to like engage and act like I know what they're talking about. And I really don't. But yeah. you really understand you really need to be grateful but um anywho i don't know what i'm gonna eat i was gonna say that i was gonna stop at um bravo's and get me something to eat but i really don't feel like stopping either like i don't want to sit down and eat you know what? I should have just stopped at 7-Eleven. It got me one of my green juices, which I do have one in here, but it's not cold, and I like them cold. Because if I could just get a green juice, I would be fine. Honestly. Because I'm hungry, but what's hungry now? Or a tropical smoothie. Ew. Now I'm about to go into Target. <laughs> Lord, someone blow my mouth. I'm about to go into Target real quick and get these AirPods. <laughs> I got the AirPods, y'all. Let me tell y'all, I just walked past the funkiest person ever I have met. Like, for you to be at work, and he was a worker here, for you to be at work and you smell like that, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. I was gonna get something from this Pizza Hut right here. This Pizza Hut Express, but it don't look like they're open. We currently do not have any pizzas. Sorry for the inconvenience. Yeah, yeah, very much is so like a bliss me because I'm hungry. It was hot. Okay. AirPods is secured. Y'all, I just was looking into, um, I just opened my email and I saw a email from Shake Shack. That's what I'm gonna get. And we're right by one. Mm -hmm. I love me some Shake Shack. 
I need something to open this. Oh, AirPods, how I have missed you. Okay. Did this even open it? No, it didn't. I would wait until I get home, but guess what? I need it open now. I cannot take it anymore. I need it open now. I hate putting my mouth on this stuff. I need it open now. Uh, who cares about this? It's an AirPod case. I mean, it's AirPods. And they're the old ones at that. But they're AirPods. Will it come with the cord? It better. Oh, yeah. Cord. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, and I like that it's the USB one because in my car, I have a USB-C port and then I have a USB port. And my son, he be trying to charge his phone too. And if it's like you're trying to charge your phone, I'm trying to charge my phone. And if they're both, like, you know how like on one end, it'll be the iPhone charger and then on the other end, it'll be USB-C. I don't like that because it's like, well, which one of us, our phones is always dead, so which one of us is going to use it? I need a pair of this BRB. I ain't going to hold you. This one feel weird in my ear because of my piercings. And I haven't had it in my ear in so long. But they'll do. I'm not, I didn't get these for, um, you know, y'all already know what I got them for. Just so I won't have, like, if I need to take a call or something. I don't have to have it, like, playing out loud but I don't have to have my big headphones on either because that's what I was hating. All right, let's go to Shake Shack and get something to eat, which I'm glad that it's over here. And then we can go to Nordstrom Rack to find a dress, hopefully. And just in case I find a dress that I like but don't have no shoes that match, Nordstrom Rack has cute heels. Okay, they repping these horoscope. They, um... License, okay, baby. I'm about to go because y'all took it too long. They license plate say Sagittarius. It's probably their girl car because it's a man driving. Because I don't see no man having no license plate to say Sagittarius unless he a little, you know. But other than that, nah. Let me show you guys my food before I crash. This is Shake Shack. I got a chicken sandwich. And let me show y'all guys. I paid $5 for these cheese fries. Look how much cheese they put up there. What am I gonna do with that? So I had to ask them for a side of cheese because baby, listen, I need enough cheese that every fry will have a piece of cheese on it. And if every fry does not, I need enough cheese to where I can dip the fry in the cheese. This is not enough. This is enough for like one, two, three, four, four fries. Anyway, I'm about to eat, y'all. Watch a little video. Then we're gonna go into more Chirac, which I am right outside of it. Yerp. These are cute. I like these. Like some little slippers to wear in the house. Y'all, we hit the jackpot with Good American. I didn't know that their stuff was that good, but now I need to find some heels to actually go with what I found. I did see these pink ones, but I don't know how I feel about that. So I'm gonna just keep looking to see if I see any other shoes. Oh, these green ones are cute. Are these going to have? Hmm, let's see, let's see. Y'all, do not be mad at me, okay? This is my bag. Okay, I got some stuff, y'all. Norshaw Rack has some good stuff in there. I end up spending $2.97. Uh, but one of the things I'm gonna one of the things I'm gonna show y'all later. Hold on. One of the things I'm gonna show you. Well, I'm gonna show y'all everything when I get home. Y'all, first of all, I never knew that um Khloe Kardashian good American stuff fit that good let me tell y'all the kardashians they get a lot of hate because of the things that they do in their personal lives and stuff like that but one thing they know how to do 
is have a brand and have a good brand because that stuff that I got from um they had like a whole section of good American stuff and it was just put out because she said that they had another shipment of stuff and it went so quick and um they had so much good American stuff and everything that I picked up from good American I loved I actually had to put some stuff back because I was like mm, like I don't want to spend like because it was like and her stuff is not cheap if y'all go on their website and look at their stuff like that's full price or whatever it'd be like a hundred and something you're not gonna find anything up there really for less than a hundred and something so the stuff in there was marked down to, to sixty dollars and i found this dream dr jean dress y'all and then i found some shoes and then i found the cutest kurt geiger bag which i'm still on the fence about because i told my sister i said i might take that bag back only because i love the bag for that outfit but i feel like i would not wear it with anything else in the bag i thought was 150 y'all so i was like you know what if i don't love this bag i'm gonna take it back but when it rung up it rung up for 85 dollars which is still a lot but it's cheaper than 150 you know what i'm saying so i found a dress i had to put one of the good american um dresses back because i was like I don't want to get both of these dresses and they both $60 and I was going to get both of them because I loved how both of them looked on me and I was like mm, but I'm not going to wear both of them to dinner so it's like pick one and the place we're going to is um kitchen and cocktails so I don't think it's like an upscale place so I said you know what I'm gonna just go with the jean dress because I feel like it was a fun summer out I mean a fun spring outfit with the shoes that I got when I first got in there I showed y'all some um some um oil some body oil by uh, I mean by Lacatane that I actually put back because that is $52 so I was in there making decisions like what am I gonna get and I was like you know what the oil is really not a necessity so I'm not gonna get that so I didn't get the oil um, I'm gonna put it back and I'm gonna just order it online because there's actually um, I actually can get a discount with QVC because my mother used to work there so I'm gonna get it offline with QVC and we just gonna go that route so I'm gonna go ahead and place that order for that because I really do y'all let me tell y'all I'm gonna put a picture up of the shower oil I think I, I told y'all about the concoction before but this oil mixed with the Fenty skin whip body butter oh y'all and how your skin looking beautiful but i said you know what i'm gonna just go to the store and buy well i don't need to go to the store i got some at home some of that palmer's oil and i'll just like to mix it with the um the fenty and i already got the fenty i showed y'all that which i need to find it y'all i put it somewhere in the house and i don't know where but i'm gonna i know it's in the house somewhere though anyway i'm about to go get my wax i actually she called me while i was in line and said that she was running late i said perfect everything been going smoothly today with time because today my um i told y'all that my eyebrow lady told me 10 15 which was perfect because i didn't get to her until 10 08 um my appointment was originally for 10 o'clock but i ran into traffic and then when i was just in there the line was so long y'all and they only had one cashier and then the cashier you could tell she was new she was moving slow it's just like oh my gosh like come on and then my wax lady called me and was like hey i'm running a little bit behind it's gonna be like 240 245 i said perfect now all i need to do is call her and ask her do she got somewhere where i can freshen up because y'all let me tell y'all oh baby she wet down there and i ain't talking about the good kind of wet sweating okay so i need to freshen up before i lay on her table and bust it wide open because uh-uh All right, you guys, so this is where the voiceover starts because I accidentally turned the volume down on my camera and you could not hear anything I was saying. So this is the next day. I actually went to Marshall's and I bought a couple of things and I just wanted to show you guys. So I bought this water bottle because I'm obsessed with water bottles and I also got these earrings, but these actually came from Amazon. They're like a Bottega dupe earrings 
and I love, love, love them. I do apologize, y'all, if this is irritating you because I hate when the words does not match the mouth. It throws me off. So I'm so sorry, y'all. I'm, I'm irritated with myself. But I also got some nair because obviously I needed to nair my legs and stuff. My legs is going to be showing. And now I'm just taping, taking my apple cider. Well, my all-in-one master tonic that I told you guys about that y'all already know I take every morning. And also the pajama set that I have on actually came from Marshalls also. I got that. It's a Calvin Klein um, pajama set. It is a little skimpy, but... I don't like to wear anything to bed. So guess what? Skimpy does it for me. <laughs> I'm laughing at myself because the stuff I just be like, I really be showing y'all everything. Like y'all, my home girl, I'm sitting here itching my ear, bonnet on, pajamas on. Anyway, so I was telling y'all about what happened to me that morning, y'all. So I had woke up that morning early around like six o'clock in the morning and I heard a loud boom and at first i thought that it was my son making noise because my nine-year-old he will wake up y'all and be stomping and stuff like that but something just kept telling me in my spurt that it was not him so then when i actually decided to get out the bed and get them ready for school i saw the ambulance outside i saw fire trucks and everything like that so come to find out okay so we have a neighbor across the street y'all that's always parking their car in front of our house why it's because they're being inconsiderate because they definitely have space to park it in front of their house, but they just have so many cars that they park they and they don't want to park all of their cars in the driveway just in case one car has to leave or yada, yada, yada. I know it's a street. Anybody can park there, but just i feel like you should be considerate when somebody has a home and you know that they might have company that need to come and then they don't have anywhere to park because you are part consistently like is your parking spot in front of their house anyway so this particular morning it was six something in the morning and this man was coming down the street y'all and hit their car totaled their car and when I rewinded the cameras to watch it back, we can hear the man getting out the car grunting and I guess he was hurt. The ambulance came and everything like that. But what makes this so crazy is that um, last March, so it's been a year now because last March and I didn't tell y'all when it happened because out of respect for my friend, I didn't want to just put her business out there. But now that it's over and done with, she got her new car, so it don't matter. But last March, right? my friend came over to visit me and we were sitting here downstairs just vibing whatever and we heard a loud boom again we thought that it was my kids so i was like and the kids kept saying that wasn't me i don't know who it was you know what i'm saying so here i am like well it had to be something like where did that come from so we go outside and the our neighbor across the street not the one i was just telling y'all about but another neighbor um it's like an older man, but he has a granddaughter that's younger. So she was outside in her car and she was like off bat. She was like, whoever just hit y'all car, hit our car too. And, da -da -da, and it, you know, just was making it seem like that somebody was coming down the street hitting cars. And we was like, what? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, what in the world happened? Like, what? I, I just... I could, I, we was like, what happened? Who was coming down the street? Was they drunk? Because it was like a Friday night. So I said, you know what? I'm going to go rewind the cameras. And my I was telling the girl this, like the, the his granddaughter. I said, I'm going to go rewind the cameras to see exactly what happened. She said, yeah, do that. Y'all, as soon as we went back in the house, she peeled off. And my, well, I can't say peeled off. She tried to peel off. She did get away, but their car was messed up. So she ain't get but so far. But um she got far enough to do a hit and run anyway so come to find out y'all she is the one that hit my friend's car and she came back around and parked her car in front of her grandfather's house which is our neighbor and tried to act like that somebody hit her car and hit our car too and she reported it to the insurance company and everything saying that somebody hit her car so she pretty much did a hit and run and unfortunately because my camera didn't really pick up on her license plate we couldn't prove that it was their car so she got away with that but it was just so crazy for us to 
experienced this twice. I mean, the cars were parked in the exact same spot. The exact same spot and they got hit. But the first time it was a hit and run, they didn't, you know, admit to it. And unfortunately, they totaled my friend's car. This time, the guy actually did stay around. The police came. The ambulance came and my neighbor's car was totaled. So as of right now, they haven't started, they, they haven't got a new car and they haven't started parking their car in front of our house. Hopefully this was a wake up call for them because like stop parking your car in front of our house. But on the flip side of it, it's like, I don't want nobody to park their car in front of our house either, whether it's friend or family, because obviously I don't know what it is. I wish I could show y'all, but it's just going to show too much of the outside, but anyway y'all that's what i was just explaining with that so i went ahead before i left out i wanted to go ahead and start, do some editing which is in the i was editing the new york vlog that um actually went up right before this vlog so it's already up and live this actually is footage from when i took my son to new york back in january i surprised him with a trip to new york for his 13th birthday at first i was not gonna upload the footage y'all because i have been vlogging i have been recording stuff i just haven't been in that space of where i felt like that i could upload it i just felt really like i don't know it just did it just wasn't aligned with how i was feeling you know what i'm saying and i know y'all don't like that but it just wasn't so anyway i wanted to go ahead and create a packing list and at the same time i was editing as you can see i'm you know um editing and writing down what i need to pack for this trip so we got that done it is up i'm going to link it right above it should be a card coming up now at the top right hand corner so if you want to watch that video feel free to go watch it but finish this one first y'all because y'all know if y'all click off this video and then go to another one it's gonna mess up my watch time so go ahead finish this video and then go to that one it's literally the video right before this one now time for y'all to see what i got from nordstrom rack so this is the jean dress that i was telling y'all that i got from good american love 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 this jean dress y'all at first when i saw it i was like there's no way i'm gonna get in this but good american y'all if you have weight on you or if you're curvy this is a great brand because it stretches great it stretches so good so i've already worn that dress like three times and to match this dress i actually got these pink heels from this brand right here sam edelman um i got these pink heels that i actually end up taking back to nordstrom right only because i didn't end up even wearing the heels so i said you know what i'm just gonna take them back they were 60 dollars also and the kurt geiger bag that i got that to match with that here it is and i, I still love this bag y'all but i did end up taking this bag back also because i did not wear the heels in the bag together and my reason being is because i got the same heels in the color black and i had wore it the night before and they were killing my feet so i knew if we went out to a club absolutely not there was no possible way so for the first night i wore these black heels and i wore it with some black tights and this acdc hoodie that i'm gonna show y'all in a minute but to go with the red and the hoodie i actually got the ruby woo lipstick that's what was my reasoning for and i like ruby Woo. ruby ruby woo is a good red lipstick it's a like that is the original red lipstick for dark skin it just matches so good and this is the hoodie that i mean the sweatshirt that i got and i noticed the back said highway to hell so guess what <laughs> won't be wearing that anymore <laughs> but that was the first outfit the first night outfit that i wore but so i of course i kept the black heels because i wore them but them pink heels had to go back baby, because they were hurting my feet mm -mm. i'm not a heel person and then we went to the park for brunch and we the color scheme was green so i found these green linen pants it was really not my go-to outfit but i could not find anything green i really couldn't so it was i was dwindling down on time that's what i came up with i got them from h&m and i also got this sleeveless collared shirt from h&m but what i like about this shirt it has shoulder pads in it now the only thing i don't like is the shirt is pretty thin so you can actually see the shoulder pads and that's coming off as cheap to me but it did what it needed to do for the time being <laughs> and i didn't even get any pictures in anything that i wore y'all because i just been so self-conscious about taking pictures because i'm just not comfortable with my weight right now so if it's not a face pic i just haven't been taking pictures because that's just what it is right now 
And to go with that outfit for brunch, I didn't know if I should wear these green heels right here from Steve Madden. Because even though, the, well actually it looks good on camera. They're not necessarily the same color green but i didn't know if i should wear the heels or the slides i ended up going with the slides because again y'all i do not like wearing heels even though i felt like the heels were so cute i'm about to show y'all my feet is ashy so don't talk about me but yes that's how the heels look i felt like they were so cute but i went with the slides and now it's just time to pack <music> I know recently Sephora had their Sephora VIB sale so I actually went and purchased a couple of items from their sale and I just wanted to show you guys what I got so first things first I got the milk hydro grip hydro grip primer and I got it in a travel size but I did get finally the Kaali Eden juicy apple and y'all also I got the one size powder but y'all the Kaali came out with a new fragrance it's called lychee sparkling lychee or something like that you guys when i tell y'all it smells so good i'm clapping my hands while telling y'all this that's how good it smells it smells so good but unfortunately they were sold out of it and they've been sold out online i don't know if they're in stock now but i actually went onto the kaali website sephora nobody have it so i'm upset about that but i did finally get the juicy eden apple which i told y'all before i love that perfume it smells so good now i'm just packing my makeup throwing everything in there y'all my makeup is just so disorganized i really need a makeup container again because it's just it's so disorganized i need a whole i need completely new brushes because my brushes are just so old i need new brushes i need new everything and now i started filming off of my phone again so bye i was supposed to come back up here y'all i was rushing and i was rushing to try to get done by 12 30 but here it is 1 30 and my sister my sister is still not here but anyway as y'all saw I, I mean i didn't put no makeup on y'all I just, I'm going free because I'm doing my makeup tonight. I have on this tank top from H&M. I don't know what to say and my breasts are saggy. <laughs> but my, um, and then these, these pants that I got from H&M, they're just like some flowy, nice and comfortable pants. And then y'all know my new balances that I love so much. And then I just got my crossbody bag on from well, I need to clean the bottom of it. This is how much I'll be wearing it, y'all. This is my everyday bag. <laughs> um, and then I, I got my Desi Brown. I don't even know which ones. What are these? Uh, Backtrack. These are one of her first couple of ones that came out. That is the vibe that I'm on to just travel there. And when we get there, I know we have a couple of stops to make. Nah. Can't say we want a couple of stops because it's too much for YouTube. But we got a couple of stops today for the weekend. And um Yeah, so I'm gonna try to vlog as much as I can, y'all. But that's it for this video. Okay. I hope you enjoyed. And I love you guys so so much. And I'll see y'all in my next one. Bye.